Today I'm going to show you how to share an old school whiteboard in a Teams meeting with a meeting room solution in room. How cool is that? I'm Paul Bloom and this is In My Humble Opinion. Nearly every time when I get into a meeting room solution upgrade, the opportunity to really bring together some of the coolest technology available, I come across this little issue, this little obstacle called, it's the B word, you know, budget. <laughs> budget is such a pain. It restricts me from doing something really cool like upgrading the screens, potentially, to touch screens so that I can do some whiteboarding. But for those of you who cannot get there because of the budget problem, let me show you how you can get around just making use of your in-room whiteboard. I've got an in-room whiteboard right here behind me with my MTR behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'll set up real quickly a meeting. The meeting will include that participant and my PC with a screen share right in front of me here. Of course, I'll turn off the audio to avoid all the feedback and all that kind of stuff. And I'll meet you back in a moment. Please hold. Okay, that's my meeting going over there. I'm just ringing my room system. So let's go and answer the call, eh? So how I'm going to share this content from this whiteboard is by clicking on share. Now what it'll do is it'll allow me to choose the content from camera. So I'm going to use this whiteboard instead of the digital whiteboard in Microsoft. I'm going to use a physical whiteboard. Click on that got three different choices. It depends on what you're sharing it. Those different choices optimize it slightly different for your use. I'm going to click on whiteboard. You would have noticed my camera turned off immediately. That's because my PC can only stream one camera at a time. He holds up two and not two. Uh, and so right in here, it just tells me, hey, looking for a whiteboard. It'll go and scan. I'll just get out of the way so my light can shine on it over there. There we go. So why I leaned out the way so that my spotlight actually lit up my camera so it was easier for it to be found. If you go and frame that board up a little bit better, you'll find it, it finds it even better. A few settings here. I can change the camera, which I don't want to do because this is my camera I'm using for that purpose. I can change the content just like I saw before. I can turn off this little overlay thing. So you'll notice that I'm over here and you'll see that my hands almost kind of ghosted transparent. I could turn that off if I wanted and it looks like that, which means I just write straight on the board and you see what's straight on the board. Of course, if I walk in front of the text, you won't be able to see it anymore. So I might leave the ghosted text on. This is to redetect or not to detect edges at all. Maybe you've got a big wall you're writing on. I like the detect edges component because it'll straighten things out a bit, especially if the if the board's at a slight angle and you want to kind of skew things straight. And then that over there is rotate. Pretty standard. I'm going to go share right here. And what you're seeing now is on my desktop, I've got this white space being shared. And if I go back to my PC in the back there, you can see on my PC, my MTR, you can see the share screen. You'll notice you can't see the mouse moving over there because I'm sharing the whiteboard. Everything else is ghosted. So let's have a look how this works. I'll go to my whiteboard over here. You've still got my video feed. I'm looking at my camera over here as well on my meeting room. My recording mic's over there, hence why I sound a bit distant. Look at that. So there it is, share whiteboard. Now it helps to have a decent pen. Having a decent pen makes such a difference, makes the text easier to see. So I don't use those fading, dying last moment pens. Just chuck those in the bin and get a nice fresh pen. Everyone will love you for it. Now have a look when I stand in front of the text. It still has my text up. And while you're looking at that, you'll notice that it's very easily visible on my uh, MTR screen as well. So let's pop something else on a little bit low here. I might go down on one knee. Uh, Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Bloom and this has been In My Humble Opinion.